Okay, in today's video, I wanna do a good comparison between $50 spent in Toronto versus $50 spent in New York City. Now, I'm not gonna go and look for specifically the best deals that I can find. I'm gonna find something that's relatively average to the price points that you'd be paying in the city, but you know, a little bit cheaper uh, because it's on a budget of $50. And I'm gonna try to make that $50 last for the whole day and there's gonna be some things here and there that I'm gonna do that cost nothing, that are just free. And uh, I hope that this video is informative and I hope you guys enjoy the video in general. So let's get started. The first up, Toronto. There are plenty of cheap Chinese bakeries in the city with comparable pricing. So you'll be sure to find many good options. For the price and on the budget we're on right now, I think it's a pretty good start to the day. Now I'm about to go on the subway. If you have a Presto card, each fare is $3. There are always free things to do in the city, so it's important to look up things beforehand. Today they had White Christmas playing for free. So I'm outside of Bloor Cinema and they have free holiday classics all winter. I'm gonna go see White Christmas right now and right here, see? Zero dollars what I pay, but you can actually donate whatever you want. I'm pretty excited to go watch the movie and uh, we'll chat again after. Toronto is a fairly good walking city, so since we're already downtown, we will just walk to our other destinations. Now I'm ready for lunch. A pizza slice at Cora's. Cora's is one of the oldest pizza shops in Toronto, located right at Spadina and Harvard. Their slices are decently priced. I mean, not too expensive, but not the cheapest slices in Toronto. It's kind of like a good average, so I wanted to show you kind of what you can get with your money. But the slices are pretty decent. Jazz Club. At Nathan Phillips Square, they were having a winter festival, which had many shops and a booth that happened to give out free whiskey. There's a little uh, booth that they're actually giving out free J.P. Weiser's uh, whiskey, which is actually really cool. They gave me a nice little old-fashioned, which is going to go down beautifully in this nice weather. And right after I'm done this, I'm going to go and skate because I need some exercise for the day and it's free. Skating during this time of year is always free as long as you've brought your skates. All the skating has worked up a bit of an appetite, so it's time for dinner. Java House is one of the most affordable places in the city, with daily deals and combos. So the combo was $7.25, which I think is perfectly reasonable, and this was $5. And I think that this is not too bad for $5. It's got a half ounce of vodka and a half ounce of Kahlua and steamed milk, so I mean it sounds like a great drink for this time of year, and I thought it's a nice treat to go along with my sandwich combo. my leftover money. I'll go out and have a few drinks. Toronto has a good bar scene, but I want to do something a bit out of the ordinary. Maybe play some video games. So the bar we're at right now is called Tilt. It's a video game bar that has a lot of different arcade games and game systems, old and new. So the station that I'm at right now is a Nintendo station, so a lot of old Nintendo games downloaded into the system. The bar's prices are about average for Toronto, I'd say. Uh, I got the house logger, which was $6. Uh, that included tax as well, and I tipped a dollar, so this was $7 total. Uh, but most of their beers are about six, seven, or eight dollars. So again, this is pretty standard for Toronto, which is kind of what I wanted to do for this budget. Now, you know, not the cheapest, but not the most expensive. So this is uh, well within my price range, and you know, I'm still doing good. Now for New York City. There are many bodegas and food trucks throughout the city with all affordable pricing. 
I went to a corner store, which made breakfast sandwiches among many other things. A nice egg and cheese on a bun. After a quick breakfast, I got on the subway. If you have a metro card, each fare is $2.75. I'm gonna walk the Brooklyn Bridge since it's free and it's a great way to see the city. After a nice walk, I head to Midtown Comics. There are two locations in the city. It's one of the most famous comic book stores in the world and is a great way to spend some time. They had a bargain bin for comics under a dollar. I couldn't resist, so I snagged an issue of Deadpool. New York City is one of the most walkable cities in the world, so I'm going to make the most of it. I notice a nice coffee shop that catches my eye. So I get a cup while using the free Wi-Fi to check a map of the city to see where I can grab some lunch. While in Chinatown, I notice Vanessa's dumplings, one of my favorites. There's a bunch of Vanessa's in the city. This is the original and it is packed because they make great dumplings for very cheap costs and they're really good. So high quality for the price you pay. And uh, wow, it is very busy. I don't know if I can eat these inside. I might have to go outside and eat them. All right, I'm so excited to try these dumplings. I got the uh, pork and cabbage and the chives and pork. So I'm gonna go and dry first and I'm gonna Throw some soy sauce and hot sauce on this one. Something so simple can be just so delicious. I think Vanessa's Dumplings is like one of those places in the city that I always like, just, just in shock of how good the quality is for the price you pay. Dominique Ansel Bakery was the first shop in New York City to serve cronuts. I've always wanted to try one, so I can manage to put this in our budget. A bit pricey, but it was well worth it. Dinner in New York means endless possibilities. I wanted something cheap, easy, and quick. I went to Papaya Dog to grab a few hot dogs. Do you want other cheap options? There are plenty dollar pizza places in Manhattan, so go nuts. Right now we're at Papaya Dog in Greenwich Village and I got two hot dogs and a drink for $6.50. So I think that's a pretty decent deal. Uh, it's not the cheapest in the city, but I think overall it's pretty good for the budget. Drinks and entertainment are an easy find in the city. I'm in Greenwich Village, so I have lots to choose from. Day on the Hatch is a local favorite, which has many great deals. After a drink at Down the Hatch, we went close by to Three Sheet Saloon, another great bar with inexpensive drinks. They also have a few tables to play beer pong with. They even provide the ball and cups. Both are great cities world-class cities, and I believe both are affordable. But I've noticed New York had the more cheap options of the two. Toronto is not far behind, and it also has many cheap places to go and grab some food and drinks. And I could see in the future Toronto getting even better every year. So I can't pick a favorite. What is yours? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe as we put out videos every week. Like and leave a comment and let us know what other cities have great pricing on food and drinks. Until next time.